Thank you, Ray. Yeah. The Blue Hope Bash is coming up. It's a wonderful fundraiser. Hi, ladies. How are you? I'll let you go oh, first, thank Jillian. You, Ryan. Yeah. It's good to see you guys. I know you brought good a bunch morning. of silent auction items. Libby, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. So this is. I love how you do this walkover and everything. This is so oh, neat. I and I get to sit on a new couch. This oh, yeah. Is <laughs> in the morning couch, show. Yes. Yeah. You guys know Lindy from the morning show. I know you're used to the red couch. Yes. And we're so excited to have you guys both here to talk about this amazing event. So Thank first you. of all, let's dive into this event. What's mm -hmm. it all about? Well, this is my friend Lori, and she's chairing the event. It's called the Blue Hope Bash. The Colorectal Cancer Alliance is putting it on. Um, and it's just so important because early detection is what's key and what's sad right now is it's so many young people that yes. it's happening to. I mean, yes. I was 39 when I was diagnosed mm -hmm. and here in a few minutes you'll hear about Lori's brother who was young as well and her husband. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just something that needs talked more about. Mm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you were so young, never expecting it. I know that even your appointment got delayed a few times mm -hmm. before you even were able to get that screening and I'm sure it's just, it's still shocking even now when you reflect well, on you it. Well, you even kind of went through it with me because we're good friends yes. and back at the time mm -hmm. they thought I had colitis oh, right, and I was yeah. getting you know CT scans and that's what they thought my colonoscopy mm -hmm. got pushed off three times because of COVID but my family doctor Dr. Halchins I credit her for saving my life because wow. she yes. just kept saying you you need to get one you need to get one and she found a colorectal cancer surgeon who would take me in but we didn't think it was cancer finally yeah. got it and he found a tumor and it was stage three colorectal cancer and I've done 25 rounds of chemo total, 15 mm. rounds of radiation, five surgeries, because I had a lot of complications, and came back to work in May, and now it's metastasized to my left liver. So yeah. I'm about to have surgery on Monday and probably do three to six months of chemo again. Wow. Oh, which is unbelievable. And now I know your, your sixth surgery is mm -hmm. coming up. Yep. And it's just, it's so hard to believe because like you said, you and I, you know, we've been friends for years. I know how, how healthy and vibrant mm -hmm. you are. And we were seeing some pictures of your just adorable family. And you just never think it's going to affect you. I mean, you had no family history. No, know? and I mean, yeah. people made fun of how healthy I ate, exactly. you know, here at work. <laughs> uh -huh. And so, so during that time, the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, you know, I was too sick to really answer them a lot, but I always knew that they were there. Yes. And so when they came to me about the Blue Hope Bash and, and am seeing it, mm -hmm. I, you know, absolutely oh, I was going to do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I know you said, and Lori. And she has a sad story yes, as well. Yes, your friend here too. Lori, you have had some loved ones who were affected as well. I have. Right. I lost my husband, Brad, um, to colon cancer back um, almost two years ago, October 3rd, two years ago, so just a few days ago, and um, mm. he was diagnosed at age 50 and um, passed away just under two years later, so, mm -hmm. and he as well, he was an ER physician, he oh. took great care of himself, he was a picture of health, never mm -hmm. ever any health problems, and it just came out of nowhere at stage four, mm -hmm. so, and then unfortunately, Back in 2011, I lost my brother, Jim, to colon cancer, and he was diagnosed in September of 2010 and died only 10 months later. Oh, my god! And just, you know, Lindy's doctor was on it, but, you know, when he went in at age 44 with the symptoms, his doctor assured him with no family history that there was nothing to be worried about, mm -hmm. that it was probably an ulcer or a hemorrhoid and wanted to schedule something six weeks out. But and this happens all the it time. Does. It mm -hmm. happens all the time. I can tell you just from, you know, being in the colorectal community, um, I hear story after story mm -hmm. of people having mm -hmm. these symptoms and, um, you know. It's too late. It's too late. But it doesn't that. have to be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important to have you guys here to talk about this upcoming event because you're raising funds and you're raising awareness. Yes. So it's October 9th. It's this Saturday. She's been doing so much work on it. And there's a silent auction that even if yes. you can't come, you can still help in this way. Um, what'd you bring? Because I don't even know what so all we have. <laughs> what I brought, um, I brought a lot of things from our live auction because these are fantastic items and we're really focusing on local this year. Our community, or our yeah. community really wants um, local. So one of our great items is um, the handlebar. Yes. Oh yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's a fun experience. Yeah, <laughs> I've never done it. person <laughs> pedal pub where you can bring your own beer, your own wine, um, your own music and you pedal through downtown, stop at a few of the local pubs. Yes. And so that comes with this Yeti cooler um, and oh. we are going to pack it full Fun. of um, Sun King, another Love that. 
Yeah, uh, Brian, cool. you, yes. you know, you yeah, wanna, I see the Osiris. You, right, right. He's been eyeing it the whole interview. You, might, you, might wanna, so. never, you know, five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, Petite G. Petite G. I know Jillian saw that. I know. Yeah. So this is so Petite G. This this necklace right mm -hmm. here oh, is going to be our raffle oh, nice. and it's blue of it's course it's sapphire mm -hmm. for colon cancer oh. and so we're going to be raffling off that we have um a local painter um douglas david and um awesome. morning show so i brought a uh, painting of his donuts love that oh that's good and then we have one more this beautiful shawl it's a cashmere shawl and it's from day furs okay oh really and that's going to be a live that's auction it. paired with the night out at the carmichael nice. feinstein cabaret dinner theater and this beautiful shawl to go oh, with what it. time so does it start i starts at 6 p.m 6 p.m doors okay. open nice. on the so on mm -hmm. saturday yeah. this coming saturday and um it's going to be a great yeah. event we have limited seats available so yes. But still some. There yes. are still yeah. some. So seats get available. your tickets now. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. like they said, many ways to support. We'll get this all up on our yeah. website. Lindy and Lori, thank, thank you both so much. Thank you, you both for having much. us. Congrats we on the show. I, I go home and I watch it. I'm ah, serious. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.